great channel. So today's video is all about shoes and shoes and shoes. <laughs> I'm going to share a few high heel hats that are going to make your shoe wearing experience so much easier, fun and less painful. And as a shoe lover myself, I know the ordeal we go through whenever we have on high heel shoes. Like, I know high heel shoes, you know, they make you look so put together, they make you look so nice and everything, but then, like, down there on the feet, like, we are really going through pain. So, I decided to show you guys a few tips and tricks that I use personally whenever I have on high heel shoes. And before we start, I just want to say two things. Number one, please, this is a mistake I used to make back then, you guys. Like, you want to always make sure that your toenails are properly manicured. You want to keep them as short as possible, especially when you're wearing um, something like a stiletto, you know, pointy toe shoes. Because once you have your feet in there, like your feet are always squeezed and sometimes you might, you might, you know, find out that your feet is struggling with the pointy part of the shoe. So you want to go ahead and make sure that your toenails are properly, you know, cut down and manicured. And then the second thing I want to say is I also make this mistake, especially sometimes when I go shoe shopping and I find a particular shoe that I really, 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 really like. But Unfortunately, most times, you know, it's either they are sold out of my size. I wear a size 9 and they probably have a size 8 and a half and a size 9 and a half. And most times, like majority of the time, you guys, I'm always tempted to buy either the 8 and a half or 9 and a half. So please, you want to make sure that you buy your exact, like your correct exact um, shoe size because it just makes the job so much easier when you get your shoe size. But if you're like me, even when I don't see my shoe size, I either get them too big or too small. Don't worry, I'm going to share all the tips. Like, I'm going to share all the tricks and tips that I use, especially, you know, when I have... A, a shoe that is too too big or a shoe that is too tight so yes I hope you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get started so this first hack is one I used to do with a lot back in the day before I discovered this trick and like I mentioned earlier sometimes I'm forced to buy a shoe that runs below my actual size simply because I'm a shoe lover and find it difficult to let go of any shoe I love so in order to break into tight shoes, I often use a blow dryer to blow right inside the shoe. This hack works like magic because every single shoe in the market is done with one adhesive or another and by doing this, the heat from the dryer is kind of loosening the adhesive to help fit you better. You have to go in immediately and put on the shoe to expand it before the adhesive dries. Also, you can use a sock to loosen your tight shoes. Simply put on the sock like you would and then fold it up and put on your shoes. You can wear this around the house as much as you can and at the end, you will notice the shoes fit perfectly like this hat works wonders. This next hack is very helpful because I've fallen few times, especially on a wooden or marble hat floor. This mostly happens when I have on a slippery shoe sole and to prevent further falls, I love to use a nail file or you can use a sandpaper to create kind of an abrasion on your shoe sole and this helps create some roughness below your shoe which helps keep you sturdy while working on hard floors. Okay, so we all have that one shoe that runs too big. And to make your oversized shoe fit, simply use a washing sponge. Measure exactly where the sole of your feet rests inside the shoe and cut precisely. Place it on the sole of your shoe and then go ahead and put on the shoe. You will find that the sponge adds some cushion to the sole of your shoe and at the same time also helps add some padding to make the shoe fit perfectly. So it's been proven that the third and fourth toe on your feet has a nerve that absorbs majority of the pain while you wear your shoes. So to prevent pain, you can use a tape or band-aid to tape the two toes together. And this will help elevate the pain and give you a few more hours of wear. I do this almost all the time. Like anytime I have on high heel shoes, best believe I have this going on on my feet. <laughs> For hack number 5, this happens to me when I walk too long in a heel or when I'm dancing. I start to sweat on my feet which can sometimes cause people to slip, lose grip and fall. So to prevent this from happening, I like to use any powder. I just apply a tiny amount of it on the sole of my feet and around my feet. While applying, I try to make sure I blend it in to prevent any white residue on my feet. 
also I sometimes use a clear dry shampoo and this does an amazing job at preventing your feet from sweating so you can easily loosen a tight shoe or an undersized shoe by using aquaphor, vaseline or anything that has kind of a gel to it. This will help your feet go into the shoe without any discomfort. Also another product I love to use is Icy Hot. This goes on the feet feeling very icy and helps calm the nerves. It's a must have for me anytime I know I will be on my heels for a couple of hours. It also helps in soothing and relaxing the nerves on the feet. My last and final hack is very important, especially if you have on shoes that tend to hurt after a few minutes of wearing them. This happens mostly on the back of the feet and the last toe. All you need to do is put on a band-aid on those areas and it will help prevent your skin from rubbing against the shoe. Yeah you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video and you found it really really helpful. I really do enjoy hacks because they just make life so much easier. Yeah guys, please don't forget to help me share this video and also don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up like, hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video and till my next video, I will see you all very very soon.